Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> oh, I love when this guy gets pissed off. That's funny. That's so funny when he gets pissed off. Hey, what's up? This is Rockland. I mean, the top of the sound that you hear in the background, I'll let y'all know that that's my dog. My dog name is Bethesda. And he has been with me for the, like the last 13, 14 years. So when he walks around, and y'all probably heard that on a lot of my videos, my Patchwork Kings videos, him walking around in the background. It sounded like tap, 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 tap. Yeah, that's his feet walking on the um, hardwood. But anyway, I know a lot of people are asking me about that. But anyway, I am going to look at another Bill Burr video because I had such a good time looking at the first one. And Bill Burr is pretty funny. And like I was saying in the comments, like I said, doing these reaction videos are very easy to do. So there's no reason why I can't pump them up at least uh, maybe once a day. <laughs> it's, just, it's not because um, reaction videos are very easy to make. And I mean, I don't get any... Um, I don't get any monetization on these videos, but it's okay because I just get to watch a video that I'm enjoying watching, which I probably would have did anyway. So, um, Bill Barr, the last time I looked at one of his videos, it was real funny. He is one of those uh, comedians that tell jokes that you think about and you'd be like, you know what? That's right. And he, I always like those comedians the best. I like the comedians that will, that will say things that people be thinking, but they never want to say. And... I mean, from what I've seen so far, he looks like one of the best at doing it. He's like that that smart type of funny. Because I know there's a lot of people that like comedians that just do goofy stuff. And I'm not one of those people. I need you to, to like play with my brain a little bit. I mean, and that's why I watch Star Trek and that's why I watch a lot of sci-fi because I need I need I need my um my thought process messed with and oh uh, by the way, Black Mirror is a good show that does that. I mean, most of the episodes, some of the episodes is just ridiculous. But uh, most of the episodes that Black Mirror does, it, it gives you a really good, like, um, makes you think about the show real quick. It, it's like the best thing that I've able to been able to see on TV since uh, Star Trek, the good Star Trek have went off. But anyway, I know y'all want to hear about that. Y'all want to see the reaction to the Bill Burr video. So. So, um, and I, I, on the last video that I made, I know I kept saying that when he was doing the Arnold Schwarzenegger impression that he was sounding a lot like Aerie Spears, but then I saw a Aerie Spears, um, interview and Aerie Spears was saying that Bill Barr is one of the better comedians that he's ever looked at. So as far as the Arnold Schwarzenegger impression, I'm not sure who came up with it first, but they both do the pretty much the same thing. But anyway, y'all want to hear about that. Y'all want to see me? I uh, do the reaction to Bill Burr, no reason to hit a woman. So let's get into it. No, we have these huge battles. You know what the maddest she ever got at me was? One time she was watching this show, it was like a poor excuse for the view, and they started talking about domestic violence, right? For the nine millionth time this year, they're talking about domestic violence, just in case, you know, you didn't get the memo. You know, <laughs> evidently, you know, just some people didn't get it. It's not okay to slam your wife's head into the cupboard drawers <laughs> because she didn't dry the can opener off properly. Sounds like you know? he would do, not anybody else, but anyway. <laughs> it's gonna fucking rust, right? How do you not know not to do that shit? Do they really have to keep talking about it? Uh, who, who, it's like wife beaters watching for, oh, fuck, ah! Oh, now I get it up to Daisy, sweetheart, here we go. There you go, oh. Yeah, this is funny. So at the end of the hour, they come to the logical conclusion. They're like, there is no reason to hit a woman. There is no reason to hit a woman. And I was just like, really? I could give you like 17 right off the top of my head. <laughs> you can wake me from a drunken stupor, I could still give you like nine. <laughs> Dude, there's plenty of reasons to hit a woman. You, know, you just don't do it. The way he looks. The way he but to sit there and suggest like that there's off. no reason. Not even pissed off. It's like he's... Dude, um, the level of ego behind that statement. Like what are you, levitating years, above the rest of us? You're never annoying. <laughs> Women, how many times have you thought about slapping your, your fucking guy in the head this week? Every day. There you go. <laughs> Every day. You didn't do it, right? 
<laughs> oh, dude, it drives me nuts. Uh, There's no reason. reason. There's no reason. Really? No reason? How about this? You marry a girl, you fall in love, you buy her a house. You go to work every day, paying off the house. You come home one day, she's banging the next door neighbor, hands you divorce papers. You got to move out, sleep on a futon, and still pay for that house that she's going to stay in. No reason. <laughs> I'm not saying you should do it, but there's plenty of fucking reasons <laughs> in that arc of a story. I heard a joke like this. It was like... All right, that was a hypothetical. Shoes, but I understand. Something like that. You want that an actual went, story? Yeah, I want an actual story. I'll give you one. I'll give you one. All right, I fucked up my foot playing drums, trying to get my bass drum foot as fast as uh, John Bonham's, because I figure that's a good thing to focus on. 43 years of age, never married, no kids. I figure this, this is going to lead me to the light, right? <laughs> this, this is what I need to do. <laughs> so I don't know what I did. I, I felt like after I played Jesus, for like an hour and afterwards, I felt like literally like there was some midget place. stabbing me in the bottom of my foot, right? Oh, like I had man. lightning coming out of the bottom of my foot. So I did the typical guy thing. I'm like, I'm not going to the hospital. I'll sleep it off. Some be fine, right? Next morning I wake up, my foot's even worse. And I got to walk my crazy dog. So I'm like, I can't do it. My foot's killing me. So I wake up my girl. I go, sweetheart, sweetheart, can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Can, can you walk the dog for me? Can you uh, just take the shift? You know, I'll do your afternoon shift. Can you just do me this song? Can you do this for me? And she's just like, oh. You know, I had a late light, night last night. I'm tired. I have a big day. And I just go, fuck it. <laughs> she goes, what do you mean, fuck it? It's like, why can't you just say no? Why do you always got to, like, waterboard me with, like, a 20-minute explanation that eventually winds its way around to go fuck yourself? Just say no. So I'm just that limping out of the room. Whatever, go back too. to bed. You got a big day, right? <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm like limping down the street. I got like Tourette's fucking goddamn bullshit. Dogs walking next to me. Blah, 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 blah. And I gotta admit, I got a little childish. I did. I got a little childish, you know? I was just thinking about my relationship. I'm like, this, this is the relationship I'm in? You're just gonna do whatever the hell you wanna do, right? And fuck me? Fine, I'm gonna do whatever the hell I wanna do. I feel like listening to my iPod on full blast, walking around the house. That's what I'm gonna do. So that's what I did. Turned it all the way up, and I just, I, my whole plan was just to walk by her like I didn't even know her. And that was it. She came down the hall, I just ghosted her. Just walked right past her. That's funny. That's a feminine. Get just back. Just trying to piss her off. And I gotta tell you something, work like a charm. <laughs> work like a charm. Yeah, hung my coat up, turned around. By the time I turned around, she was already yelling at me. But the music was so loud, not only could I not hear her, it actually looked like she was singing the song <laughs> that I was listening to. Oh! It's one of the highlights of the relationship. <laughs> so I knew what she was saying. I was like, whatever, I don't want to talk about it. Leave me alone. I'm going on to the computer, right? So I limp over and I sit down, and unbeknownst to me, she's like, no, we're going to talk about this right now. Comes out, poo, and slaps the headphones off my head. I got a big, I got big ears. It fucking hurt. So I'm like, honey, leave me alone. I don't want to talk about it. Put the headphones back on. She comes right back up again. Poo, slaps them off a little harder. This time they spin halfway around my head. Caveman DNA starts coming up. It's talking through my teeth, easy. honey, leave me alone, don't want to talk about it, right? Mm -hmm. Put him on third time, she comes up, poof, slaps him right across the room, and I snap. I'm like, fine, you want to have the fight, let's fucking have the fight. She's like, we will discuss this later when you calm down. <laughs> ah, right there. I just wanted to roll her up on her yoga mat and stuff her behind the couch. <laughs> just leave her there till she got thirsty. Come on, let me out of here. I have a spin class. Major point. This, this is ridiculous. They can roll up in a yoga mat. <laughs> no, that's the thing. Really is. That's the thing. I, I hate that saying there's no reason. Obviously, I'm not saying to hit a woman, you know. But saying there's no reason, I think that's crazy. When you say there's no reason, that kills any sort of examination as to how two people ended up at that, at that place. If you say there's no reason, whoo, you cut out the buildup, you're just left with the act. How are you going to solve it if you don't figure it out? Look how awkward it is in here right now. I said you shouldn't hit a woman. I'm just saying, how come you can't ask questions? You can only ask questions about what the guy did. You can never ask about the woman. Why is that? Why is that? What is that? What, is, what does answer him right mean? What does that mean? Are you the idiot who got up halfway through the special <laughs> during the bit and you're like walking around like I'm not fucking taking the special here? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Fucking had to ignore all of that and now you're gonna like yell out? And not only that, yell something that makes no fucking sense whatsoever? <laughs> yeah, answer that. him! Answer him! Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? 
every fucking special I do, <laughs> there's always one. Oh, I love oh, it's right pissed down pissed the off. fucking That's middle. That's so funny when he gets pissed off. Talking about hitting women, sweetheart. <laughs> and I think you just added another reason. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I love this. I'm not even in a relationship with her, and she's fucking nagging me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking unbelievable. <laughs> Look, I understand hitting a woman's a bad thing, okay? Well, you, mm -hmm. How come you can't fucking ask questions? I just don't understand. Like, if I get bit by a rattlesnake, wouldn't you guys have some questions? You want to know what happened. Right? How did it happen? <laughs> did you not see it? Were you <laughs> fucking with it? <laughs> How did this snake get so mad it almost killed you? Yeah. Firemen put out a fire, they don't just drive away afterwards, they <laughs> sift through the debris. How did it start? Here's an oily rag, right? Look, I realize I'm coming off pretty ignorant right about now. I realize that. Let me extend an olive branch then, okay? I realize that there's some animal guys out there, okay? Horrible guys, you know, have a rough day at the factory, come home, tune a casserole, and just start swinging, all right? I'm not trying to say that those people don't exist. I realize they exist. They should be buried underneath the prison, okay? Mm -hmm. So if I can admit that, ladies, can you at least admit that every ass kicking doesn't just fall out of the fucking sky? Really? Even hockey has two minutes for instigating, right? They understand that some back and forth happened before that shit, you know? Yeah. Oh. There it is. Is every case woman. is handled like that Rihanna one, where they just say the guy's a piece of shit, fuck this guy, blah blah blah, mm. send him to jail, and then they never ask anything about that. You know, I'm not saying he should have done it, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying, dude. In your heart of hearts, <laughs> what do you think was going down before that happened? You think she was just sitting there going, "Oh my God, Baskin Robbins, you want to get some ice cream?" <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? Maybe they were having some epic end of the relationship fight and some crazy <laughs> shit was being said. So. Maybe she was screaming in his ear some crazy female shit like, oh, fuck all your friends. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Maybe that's why I sell more albums than you, motherfucker. Uh, uh, right? No. <laughs> to be fair, she could have just been sitting there going, I need a tissue. Do you keep those in the glove box? Oh, my God, I'll bring my out. I'll bring my out. That is not what happened. <laughs> I don't know them, and I know that that's not. Oh, what fuck happened. that! Because you know what it is? They never address how women argue, which I think is a core of a lot of that shit. You know, I gotta tell you something, man. Like I never knew how women argued, but after 20 years of losing every significant battle in a relationship, I finally figured out how they argued. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm starting to turn this franchise around. <laughs> I have begun a winning tradition. This is how not, they argue, as far as I can work. tell. All right, if they're right, they argue the point. And they stay on point and make sure you stay on point until you're down on your knees, apologizing, begging for forgiveness. All right? No problem with that, totally respect it. But here's the thing, if they're wrong, they go rogue. They go off-road. They start thinking of shit you're sensitive about, maybe you don't get along with your dad, and in their head, they just start mm. concocting mm. this evil mm. statement. Yeah. Totally designed, this desperate, Hail Mary attempt <laughs> to make you so fucking funny. mad, you just call him a cunt. That's what it is. And cunt trumps cunt. all the bullshit they did <laughs> to start the argument. Now it's not about that one, that's no reason to call me a cunt. Not and then that's dirty. it, you're in this room now, right? <laughs> my girl knows my big thing is, my big fear in life is to be that dude who grows old, you know, grows old alone, has like that basement apartment just screaming Ooh. up at the younger couple, turn it down! <laughs> I guess that's something music. that he told her while So I noticed that anytime she was losing a fight, I don't know what she just doing, that's why you're just gonna grow old and be alone. Yeah, and then, and then, and then, and lose my <laughs> shit. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm in the kitchen <laughs> washing dishes arguing. for the ninth fucking time in a row. This is what the argument was about. I was so right, what happened? So if you learn anything from my ignorance tonight, <laughs> I didn't see any just ignorance. know this. Next time you're in a battle with your beautiful woman, your, your wife, girlfriend, whatever, and they start out of nowhere, okay? You're winning, and they just start saying that crazy shit out of mm. nowhere. Just know in that moment you've won the fight, okay? All right? Don't get mad. Bob and weave, slip all of that shit. 
Maybe because yeah, you got a little dick. Just let that slide. Stay in the pocket of the argument. Okay? It's over. The argument is over. You've won. Just take a knee and run out the clock. Well, I learned All right? something today. I listen to you. Yes. Lean on the ropes. Let them punch themselves out. And then in the end, you throw this psychology right back at them. Well, maybe we should discuss it later when you calm down. Mm. And they won't hook up with you for a couple of days. Who cares? Who cares? You rub one out. <laughs> rub one out like a man. It's the champagne of victory. <laughs> Is that it? Oh man, that was it. I want, man, I want to see the rest of that. That's Bill Barr. Since I've been doing, <laughs> since I've been doing these uh, reviews of comedians. This dude is funny, man. He's very, very, very funny with a very... Uh, he talks about, like, serious things that's pissing him off. And then his facial expressions, um, it lets you know that he's really pissed off about those certain things. So, I am enjoying myself. I can't wait to watch even more of Bill Burr videos. But yeah, he, he might be one of my favorite comedians so far. All right, so... Um, thanks for watching. Like I said, uh, y'all all can uh, just subscribe to all.